tenants are being threatened to pay up or vacate despite the governor halting all evictions in the month of April. Yeah, many of you at home have called Cairo 7 because of it. Jesse Jones tells you the troubling story of one man and shows you what to do if you find yourself in the same situation. Dylan Corson's tree care business has been cut down by Governor Inslee's stay at home order because he can only legally perform emergency work. So you can't be out doing routine work. Um, and if you're caught doing routine work, not only will you get a citation now, but they will revoke your business license. That loss of business means he can't pay his rent this month. And then someone representing his landlord hit him with this. I, I was in shock. It was a handwritten note that says pay or vacate issued days after the governor's proclamation that stopped evictions for this month. And then, um, you know, the guy started trying to intimidate us, you know, with talks of all these like legal fees and attorney fees and saying it was going to be, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars if we don't comply. Scott Crane with the nonprofit Northwest Justice Project says his office is hearing about landlords writing these similar letters to tenants all over the region. We've seen landlords give notices to tenants for pretty trivial things like not certifying their income or permitting an inspection, things that they really can't do in the middle of a pandemic when they're ordered to stay home. So Attorney General Bob Ferguson took a look at that note Dylan received. Look, that handwritten note is just a blatant disregard and violation of the governor's proclamation. Ferguson's office has received more than 200 complaints over landlord tenant issues since the COVID-19 outbreak. So we're not just using our team in the office that are experts on this. We've actually gotten so many complaints. We've reached out to volunteers throughout our office who have some background on these issues to help out. Ferguson's office moved quickly on Dylan's situation. If you call out and ask for assistance, then you will get help. And like that, the landlord quickly backed off. I learned that uh, just because you constantly have a good relationship with somebody for a long time, maybe it could go sour very quickly. If your landlord is demanding rent right now, file a complaint with the attorney general's office and me. The Northwest Justice Project has tools such as sample letters you can write to your landlord if they're trying to get you to pay when they shouldn't. All of that information is on my website at jessejones.com.